guys, welcome back to my channel, Lily Malin Blur of Color. I know I'm a little bit too late for the game for the Odin's Eye Elevator 2 eyeshadow palette, but there was some trouble because I ordered it and I also ordered the Elevator 2 highlighter palette. And when I received my order, they obviously accidentally packed two highlighter palettes from the Elva 2, but unfortunately they didn't pack the eyeliner, eyeliner eyeshadow palette. So I got in contact with them and it wasn't a problem at all. I just sent them a picture of what I have received and then they just sent me the um, eyeshadow palette and I obviously can keep the second highlighter palette. So thank you for this. Um, they were so nice to write with, it was no problem at all. So I finally got the eyeshadow palette yesterday. So here it is, it looks like this. I was kind of surprised that these eyeshadow pots are so small, but I don't mind that at all because, well, I think I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes and I'll never use all of them. So. It's very fine with me to have smaller um, pots, pans, pans, that's what they're called, to have smaller pans and it doesn't make the packaging all bulky at all too. So I don't mind, it's fine with me. So I like this color story. I don't know if I'll use the shimmers. No, not the shimmers, of course I will use the shimmers. I mean the glitters because there are two grass Jesus, I can't talk today. There are two pressed glitters in here, so we'll see about that. And what I don't really like is that the darkest color in this palette is just this warm toned brown. I think this shade as a matte would have been awesome because it fits more for the cool tone side and the brown for the warm tone side, but Yes, I like to deepen up my crease or my eyeshadows, so it's not... Uh, I'm not that very happy about this, but um, yeah, you can always use a different color from a different palette. So most people have more than one, but still, um, yes, I do like the ratio of mattes to shimmers, except for the two glitters, but... Yeah, and for the first impressions by myself, I just love the green elves. That's the green shimmer color. Well, I think like I've said before, I'm just a sucker for a green shimmer or a light green shimmer. So, <laughs> of course I like it. Yeah, um, that's my first impression for the Elva 2 eyeshadow palette. I also have something new and I'm also late for this game, of course. But that's the... Um, Moon Prism Blush Palette from Lunar Beauty. It was only available on their website and no, I didn't want to order there. So I just waited until Beauty Bay received the Moon Prism Blush Palette and that was the case last week. So I ordered it, I received it. I mean, look at this packaging. The jean, it's holo. I'm a sucker for holo, but it's kind of like 3D with those planets and the moon, or moons? Moons. And it's just pretty. And on the inside, it's also pretty. So here you have those three blushes. These two do have a little bit shimmer in them, especially this one. This is more shimmery than this one. The rest of them is, as far as I can see, this might have a very 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 slight sheen but the rest of them are um, matte today i'm wearing um, twilight and yesterday i tried stargaze and um i haven't tried only two of them yet i must say they are very smooth to work with they are very good to blend out and they are pigmented mm, what I kind of miss in this palette is more of a redder toned blush. These are all very, yes, peachy, rosy. 
um, brownie. So there's something in between I'm kind of missing, but it's okay. Um, for this palette, it's fine. You can always get a different color somewhere else. So yes, the second new thing for me that I applied around with and if you're interested in seeing how I did this look, stay tuned, keep on watching and have fun. Sorry for the long intro. <laughs> anyway, I'm using the MAC Studio Fix Powder Plus Foundation in the color NW18 and I'm applying it with a Morphe M439 brush. Next, I'm going in with the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the color Taupe. To fill in the lighter spots, I'm using the color Ash Brown. Under my eyeshadow, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Eye Primer and I'm applying it with the Real Techniques 300 Deluxe Crisp Brush. From this little beauty, which is the Udin's Eye Aloe Vera 2 eyeshadow palette, I'm starting out with the light turquoise, which is called Aquamarine, and I'm applying it in my crease with a Morphe M506 brush. On the outer part of my lid, I'm applying blue pea fowl, and I kind of had the feeling that it was a little bit hard to work with because it started out being a little bit patchy, but when I applied more, it was just fine. On the inner part of my lid, I'm applying green tea, and this was very good to work with. On the outer half of my lid, I'm applying Sapphire with the Morphe N124 brush and I have absolutely no clue why I had so many difficulties applying the shade on my left eye. It started out being very patchy and I had spots where it didn't want to stick and I had to reapply it and reapply it. In the end, it was very fine, but the process took very long and I had to give it a lot of love. Applying it on the right eye was very smooth, it went very easily, so I don't know, I just, I guess I had a bad left eye day, maybe, I don't know. It's a very nice shade and it works quite well if you're applying it on the right eye, right? <laughs> On the inner half of my lid and as my inner corner highlight, I'm applying Green Elves and <sighs> I just love this color. It's so beautiful and like I said in the beginning, I'm just a sucker for a very good light green shimmer and this is definitely one of them. To deepen up my crease and my outer V, I'm using Coffee and a Morphe M506 brush and, well, 
while applying it, I wasn't very, I don't know, I was very indecisive about how I like this color combination. Throughout the day, the more I looked into a mirror, I really got to like this combination of brown, blue and green. So <clears throat> this morning I just had not a very good feeling about this, but at the end of the day I really like it. As you can see, this shade has quite a lot of fallout on the face, as do some others, but I really had no troubles brushing them away, so even if there's quite a lot of fallout or a kickback in the pan too, it's no problem. I'm applying the same shade also on my lower lash line. To get a little bit more color back into the upper part of my crease, I'm going back in with Aquamarine to just make it pop a little bit more again after I applied the coffee. As my liquid eyeliner, I'm using the NYX Epic Ink Liner in black. In my waterline, I'm using the color Analog from the Lethal Cosmetics Side FX Gel Liners and I'm applying it with the BH Cosmetics Sweet Shop Sprinkle Brush Set and here it's the number 10 Angled Liner Brush. To bronze up my face, I'm using the shade Bronzer from the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer and I'm applying it with the BH Cosmetics Lavender Luxe Set Number 1 Big Powder Brush. To contour my face, I'm using the contour shade from the 3 Steps to Contour Palette by Catrice Cosmetics and I'm applying this with the number 2 flat contour brush, also from the Lavender Luxe set. From the Lunar Beauty Moon Prism Blush Palette, I'm using the shade Twilight, which is quite a peachy orangey color. And I didn't think it would fit to my hair and the look, but it definitely does. And I'm applying this with the BH Cosmetics Sweet Shop Sprinkles Brush, number two blush brush. Wow, that was a long one. As a highlighter, I'm using the shade Gnome from the Uden's Eye Elevate 2 Highlighter Palette and I'm applying this with the Morphe M501 brush. From the same palette, I'm using the shade Ondina and I'm applying this as my brow one highlight with the Lavender Luxe Set number 10 pencil brush. For my lashes, I'm using the Huda Beauty Legend Lashes and I'm starting out with one coat of the curl and length side. For my second coat, I'm using the volume side, as usual when I use this one. <laughs> Okay. 
On my lips, I'm using the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Velour Liquid Lipstick in the color Scorpio. And while re-watching this video, I am seeing that this shade fits quite nicely to the coffee shade that I have in my crease. So I guess that was accidentally a very good match. To set it all in place, I'm using the BH Cosmetics Paradise Set Mattifying Setting Spray. And here's the finished look of my first impressions. I think it turned out quite nicely. In the end of the day, I even kind of fell in love with the color combination, which I didn't in the morning, so that's fine. And one little weird thing I wanted to mention, toward the end of the day, I had the feeling that the eyeshadow creased on me really badly, but when I checked in the mirror, it hardly creased at all, so good job on that, Odin's eye. <laughs> Anyway, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye!